Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm, um, I'm shooting macro today, so it's early autumn and I'm in a really lovely woodland and there's loads of fungi. And uh, this time of year is a brilliant time for uh, fungi or fungus or mushrooms, whatever you want to call them. And what I've got here is some lovely uh, creamy coloured fungi with a little brown top. And it's a really nice subject. Um, I've picked out two and the reason I've gone for these, and there's loads of fungus around here, we've got some really big areas of, of fungi down here, but I really like the colour of these ones and also I really like the contrast between the, uh, the light fungus or fungi and um, the, uh, the dark background because there's a little bit of bark still left on this tree trunk and that's black so I've got the, the really light creamy coloured fungus and it contrasts really nicely against this uh, black bark and uh, I think when you're doing close up photographs um, contrasts are great you know contrast to shapes or colours or textures and in this case we've got a really nice contrast to colours now, um, it's um, broken cloud, so I've got, sometimes I've got cloudy uh, light and sometimes I've got sunshine, so harder light. But that doesn't matter because I'm in a shady area here. And what we want basically is soft light. So uh, soft light is the sort of light you get in the shade or on a cloudy day. And uh, that brings out all this fine detail. So I've got the right light. Now because it is cloudy and I'm in the shade, um, my shutter speeds are quite slow. So I'm shooting obviously with a tripod, that's really important. And it also makes uh, fine-tuning my compositions a lot easier as well. So I'm on a tripod. And uh, the other thing is with any type of macro photography, depth of field is always a big problem. Because you're very limited on your depth of field because we're so close to the thing we're photographing. So what I'm doing here is shooting it at uh, a number of different apertures actually. So I've shot at f4 and f4 gives me a very narrow shallow depth of field so hardly any of this fungi will be in focus but it does give me a really nice soft out of focus background i'm also shooting at f11 to give me a bit more depth of field but also that will mean the background is slightly more in focus it'll still be soft and out of focus but there'll be a little bit more definition now and i'm shooting at f16 so i'm covering all the bases when it comes to depth of field um, and then i'm also going to focus stack so i'm going to take uh, a number of um, pictures at different points of focus and stack them together to give me an extended depth of field. So that's all great. And uh, as I say, I love being in the forest in the autumn. Um, it's just such a, a really nice environment. You know, I love the smells of the forest. You've got the dampness. You've got the sound of the, um, you know, the wind in the leaves. Um, and there's, as I say, there's loads of great subjects. Not only have we got all the fungi coming out, uh, we're just starting to get autumn colours come through as well. So no doubt uh, as the autumn uh, pushes on I'll be out photographing autumn colours as well but this is superb. Um, just up the uh, pathway here there's some more fungi that's uh, these little white fungus so I'm going to have a crack at those as well although they're much lower to the ground so I think they're going to be a bit trickier because the other thing with this composition is the fungus is on, on a tree trunk so I haven't got to get really close to the ground you know I'm sort of what a foot off the ground and I'm sort of virtually level with the, um, the fungus that I'm photographing. So the composition's nice. And I say, I've got a little group of two, uh, and that's really nice. And then there's some tiny ones down here as well, which I might photograph, because they're, they're a nice shape. They're, they're, the stalks are sort of bent, creating a nice angle. So when I'm doing this sort of photography, I'm all, it's no different to shooting a big landscape. I'm still thinking about my compositions. I'm still looking for those curves and those little lines and uh, the way they sort of, you know, the groups work together. Uh, so this is all good. Um, so what I think I'm going to do now is shut up and start taking a few pictures. Um, I've got my camera on mirror lockup, mirror lockup, sorry, um, so that I'm not going to create any internal camera shape when I uh, press the shutter button. And in fact, I'm not going to press the shutter button. I'm actually going to use my remote release. Now I could put the camera on a self timer and put the camera on live view so the mirror's locked up anyway and that's going to create an image with no camera shake um, because I'm shooting at something like half a second here at the moment so that's a very slow shutter speed but the camera's on a tripod um, I'm not going to get any internal movements from, the mi from my mirror uh, in my camera I mean if I'm shooting with a mirrorless camera body I wouldn't have that problem anyway um, and um, the other thing is I'm shooting with a very low ISO number uh, now that increases the length of my shutter speed of course uh, but it also gives me a really good quality image. So um, I think that's it for now. I'm going to uh, crack on and take some lots of uh, compositions here and uh, I'm going to, as I say, vary my depth of field and also shoot with a few focus stacks as well. So um, I'll speak to you in a little while, guys. This is the uh, first um, picture in the series I took with the uh, little fungus on top of the tree trunk. And as you can see, this was shot at f3.8, which results in a really shallow depth of field. 
and the background is really soft and out of focus and it looks great but hardly any of the fungus is in focus only the small bit are focused on at the front now if we look at the next picture this was shot at f8 so we've got a bit more of the fungus in focus not all of it but there's more of it in focus and the background still quite nicely out of focus but there's a little bit of definition uh, in that background creeping in and it's becoming slightly distracting and then if we move on to this third picture in the sequence this is shot at f11 and as you can see a lot more of the fungus is in focus but the background is also uh, gaining a lot more definition and it's starting to look really messy so although we've gained depth of field for the fungus and that's a good thing uh, f11 the background starting to look a bit messy so um, the last picture in this series is the focus stack and I think it gives us the best of both worlds because the fungus is in focus from the front to the back which is great uh, but the background is still lovely and out of focus so we've got that really smooth background and that's because I've focus stacked this image and uh, I think that's the beauty of a focus stack not only do you get more of the main subject in focus you can control the depth of field to a much greater degree so you've still got that lovely out of focus background Right, okay guys, uh, I've found my second um, group of fungi. These, uh, they're a really beautiful pale white sort of uh, fungi, a little bit lighter than the ones that I photographed um, earlier. It's a bit harder composition though, because um, I don't know if you can see, but they're over here and they're in little groups and I can't isolate one or two or a little group or a small group of fungi. They're in quite a big bunch actually, so it's making the composition um, quite tricky. But I'm going to persevere. Obviously I'm not going to move anything out of the way because um, uh, I don't want to destroy this, you know, these really delicate plants. Um, yeah, so it's a case of um, trying to isolate a small group rather than one or two individual fungi and uh, see if I can come up with a pleasing composition. Um, I've got like an, an old dead branch here that I can use as a little bit of a frame to anchor the bottom of this, the shot and hopefully that'll work out okay. And then there's a little group over this side on their own which I might just be able to isolate as well. But it's not as easy as the, the fungi that I shot earlier that were uh, sitting on the top of the uh, tree trunk because uh, that was a much simpler um, uh, scene to photograph actually but still, not to worry I've still got nice soft light although it's sunny uh, and the sun's right out now it would be in a hard lighting situation because I'm in the shade again I've got soft light which will bring out all that fine detail and uh, after this I think I'm um, heading for home for lunch um, I've had a really, really great time in the uh, forest um, all morning actually it's been superb um, as I say early autumn uh, the forest is grey uh, the colours are just beginning to come out so it'll be forest photography uh, maybe for the next vlog um, we'll see how we go but the autumn colours are starting to come through and uh, yeah I'm always going to keep my eye open for the fungi as well because it's that time of year so I'm going to uh, persevere with this composition if it comes out any good I'll put it on the end of this uh, video and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed it today um, and uh, if you have enjoyed it, if you can give the video a like, that would be great. Always helps my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing, that would be fantastic. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, look after yourselves, and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.
Okay guys, that's my last composition of the day, and um, it's not really a macro shot this time. I'm quite a way away from the fungi, as you can see, probably about two, two and a half feet away. But the composition's really nice, I think, because I've got a whole heap of fungi, and they're following the contours of this tree trunk. So what it gives me is a lovely curved line. It's almost like a, a river of fungi. And as I mentioned before, composition for close-ups and macro shots is just as important as it is for big landscapes. So. This sort of curved line really drew me to this composition and um, I have done a focus stack but because I'm further away probably won't need that. I'm shooting at f11 uh, and it's all good. I've checked the histogram, uh, the lighting's really soft again at the moment. Um, also I'm on, again I'm on a tripod because I've got a really slow shutter speed. I think I'm down to about two seconds now. So it's all good. So um, yeah, last shot of the day. Uh, I'm going to have some tea and chocolate now and um, head for home.